So, sir, you're a neighbor or you know these folks? Yeah. So, you saw smoke come from the house. What did you do? I grabbed the hose and went upstairs. There was a fire right there, so I saw a lot of water on the side. So, you said there was a mattress that was on fire? Yeah. And the door was open to the house? Yeah. Nobody's home? Yeah. Kind of strange, huh? You said there was also a dog in there? There's another dog up there. You got, you got two of them in the park. Oh, you got two dogs out, okay. Yeah, more up there. Oh boy. Sir, thank you for doing a great thing. dark there so ma'am if you could please tell me your name and spell your last name it's Janet Gomez G-O-M-E-Z okay so I understand you were gonna you're gonna sit with the uh, pets babysit them mm -hmm. what happened um, I was in the room watching the animals and a friend of mine came over to visit and he said that there's smoke in the master bedroom and so we got the animals out and by then as soon as I got the animals out and went back in to get the third animal it's flamed up I guess on his bed or somewhere over there, over by his bed and uh, it went, it went from there. It just started smoking and uh, burning. So we wow. called 911, but they kept hanging up on us. So. So you're able to get these two white dogs out, but the pit bull is still inside. Mm -hmm. He got scared and went running back in the room. And, and the, the firefighters he, found him finally. Yeah, and the turtle, the turtle. He went. He always goes to the turtle. That's his friend in there. So. Okay. Are they okay? Yeah, they're okay. Hi guys. Yeah, they were pretty scared when I saw them. Yeah. Okay, did, were you able to get a hold of the owners? Yeah, we called him. He's at Kaiser. I, I hope he's at Kaiser right here, not Kaiser down in okay. Zion. Ma'am, thank you so much for time. I'm glad you guys mm -hmm. got out. Thank you. Good morning, sir. If you could, please start with your name, spell your last name, and your position. Good morning. First name David, last name Albright, A-L-B-R-I-G-H-T, and I'm a battalion chief with the Chula Vista Fire Department. Thank you, sir. This morning we're at the scene of a house fire. Can you talk about it? That's correct. Uh, I don't have the exact time without looking at my, my phone, but this morning we were dispatched to a house fire here in a two-story house. Uh, San Diego Engine 29 happened to be passing by and was the first engine to arrive. It reported moderate smoke from the second story. Um, after further investigation, we did find a fully involved master bedroom that had extended up into the attic a slight bit. Um, at this point, the fire is knocked down. There's no um, victims that were found inside the residence and firefighters did remove a pit bull dog that was found inside the structure as well. And a turtle. That's right, and a turtle. So the pets are at this point safe and there was nobody um, that was found on our primary and secondary search, but there were people in the house when the fire started. Okay, and was anything interesting found inside the house? 
interesting in the sense that there's quite a bit of paraphernalia. I'll just leave it at that. So our investigators are here to look into that with Chula Vista Police. It appears the fire did start in a second story bed or mattress that then spread from there. And it's probably from some kind of discarded smoking material or paraphernalia that was left unattended in that bedroom. And the residents were not home at the time? Correct, the residents were not home, but there was a friend that was in the house, I guess house sitting or watching it. And she's the one that discovered the bed on fire and then initiated the 911 call and got us in route. And the residents will be displaced? They will for now. sdg &E has pulled the gas and electric meter until we figure out the amount of damage and what actually led to the fire. So they will not be staying here at least for the next couple days. And so the fire investigators are inside and possibly the police will be going inside. Correct. And more will develop on that as the day goes on. I just don't have enough information to, to give you any more on that right now. Any firefighters injured? No, no injuries to any firefighters. And uh, again, the pets were successfully removed. And at this point, we're just in the investigation phase of the fire. Sir, thank you so much for your time. You're very welcome.